Hi everyone, and uh, welcome to this Facebook Live with me, Espen Hergen. Uh, reading from Getting Into the Vortex, this beautiful book, Guided Meditation CD, and use a guide by Esther and Jerry Hicks, The Teaching of Abraham. So it's so wonderful now to come together for co-create, for expanding and to feel the energy of our own alignment and more. Uh, all what the meditation is about is to quieting our mind, letting ourself to less the resistance to what is now. And when the mind quiet, the energy arises from it, from it naturally. And then we feel better and we feel good. Then when we have, have clo close your eyes, if you have close your eyes and then open up our eyes after 15 minutes of just focusing in the breathing, that's the process. Six breaths in per minute, you know. So it will be like this, like, one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight. So this is a beautiful process for do you know, uh, 50 minutes every day, especially in the morning. That's when uh, the mind is quiet at most. That's when you are, some call it an alpha state. It's when there is your refreshed and new waking up. And then you start with breathing and allowing. It's a wonderful process, so yeah, for sure. So happy, happy, beautiful, beautiful day, everyone. Good to be here and good to come together for co-create with ourselves, co-create, we co-create with each other, and that's the co-creation at its best, right? So so good. Getting into the vortex. So will we start with we already been re already been reading the introduction and the preface by Esther and Jerry Hicks. So now it is uh, starting with the meditation, general well-being. So just find a place to sit comfortable. You know, find a good place to sit. You know, comfortable. It can be a chair. It can be in any places. Just for them. sitting comfortable. Breathing in and breathing out a couple of times and just listening. Nothing you need to do here, nothing you need to, to have, nothing you need to thinking about, but just allow and breathe and listen. That's uh, a good thing to do. So it would be a wonderful, wonderful process to just experience, just to allow and breathe and listening. That's all. Allow and, and breathe and listen. Releasing the thoughts and coming into a place of feeling the wholeness of who you really are in the energy of who you really are in this physical body. It's to be aware of that energy. It's to be consciously aware of who you really are, the wholeness of you. And then just breathe and observing the breathing in and breathing out and do it in the way that feels best to you. So, so good. Happy, beautiful day, Kelly. Happy, beautiful day, Scott. So, so good. Okay. This is good. Okay. Welcome to the doorway of your vortex. We are extremely pleased that you have made the decision to be here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creation and for the purpose of aligning with who you really are. Even though this vortex that we speak of cannot be found on physical maps and it is not indicated by physical signs posters, it is a reality that exists just the same. It is your vibrational reality. You can tell when you enter your vortex by the way you feel. You can tell by the way you feel when you exit your vortex. In fact, your personal 
precise emotional guidance system is the only effective roadmap or signpost to your vortex. Your vortex is a vibrational heaven where the frequencies are very high and without resistance. That is why it feels so good to you when you enter. And that is also why we are extremely pleased that you have made a decision to be here. All cooperative, cooperative components to the furthermost expanded versions of you have been gathered by the law of attraction and are held in timeless, spaceless, ever readiness for your access and utilization in your vortex of creation. If you, are, if you are to become a cooperative component to your own vortex and to all of the wonderful things that have been gathered there, you must be a vibrational match to your vortex. In other words, you too must have a high frequency and you too must be without resistance. Each day, as you release resistant thoughts through the power of this guided meditation, your vibrational frequency will rise and new vibrational patterns will develop until, in a short period of time, your natural vibrational inclination will be to be inside your vortex. And then you will be living life as you intended to live it, accessing the energy that creates worlds and flow it, flowing it toward your personal creative endeavors. For you are the creator of your own reality. We want you to know that as you relax and breathe and focus softly upon the words that we are offering to you here, you are allowing the gentle tuning of your vibration to the frequency of your source, who is inside the vortex. And there is nothing about your physical awareness that connects you more to the non-physical aspects of your being than that of your breathing. Many assume that the process of breathing is only about your physical nature, but that is not the case. The process of breathing is much more than an essential function of your physical body. Indeed, it is the flowing of spirit to you and through you. And that is the reason that when the focusing of spirit through your physical body ceases, your breathing ceases also. When you are in a state of complete alignment and no resistance is present within you, the absence of any negative emotion is your indication of your complete alignment with Source. This listening experience will induce a, a convergence of beneficial aspects for you. For as you relax into the natural rhythm of perfect breathing while hearing these, wor while hearing these spoken words, the vibration of your physical being will gently surrender to the vibrational frequency of your source and you will become one with your source inside the vortex. Over time, by focusing upon your breathing while hearing the perspective of source in the background, the resistant thoughts you have picked up, up along your physical trail will be released and your natural alignment with the source within you will return. Through the hearing of these words in your relaxed state of allowing, you will allow the gentle tuning of your vibrational frequency to match the frequency of your source. This will not be an exercise of effort or trying, but instead an exercise of releasing and allowing, gently allowing yourself to be who you really are. Be easy as you find the rhythm of your body and enjoy long, slow breaths in and out as you hear our words. It is not necessary that you concentrate and there is nothing that you need to remember. Just relax and breathe and enjoy. The key to the certain benefit that you are discovering here is in the distraction from resistant thoughts that are often present because of the subtle rhythm implied here in the music at the basis of this recording, your early attention will, upon, will be upon that, assuring a releasing of your normal resistant thoughts and concerns. As you listen 
for the rhythm of the music and gradually align your breathing in and out with that gentle rhythm. Your body will thrill with the discovery of optimal, optimal breath and non-physical alignment. Full, strong breath, breath in. One, two, three. And a long, slow, easy breath out. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And in time, after a few days of refreshing yourself in this way, your body will remember its newfound rhythm. Your awareness of your breathing will gently become unconscious, and your physical body will delight it, delight in this physical experience of relaxing enjoyment. Then, while in the subtle, unconscious state of being, the words you have been hearing in the background will move forward in your awareness in a new and a powerful way and in your quiet state of non-resistance you will feel a vibrational resonance with the understanding that is at the basis of these words this will not be a process of hearing and then remembering so that you can repeat these words but an awareness as you hear them that you know them Within this process, you will come to understand firsthand the state of universal well-being in which you live, a state where effort and trying are replaced with releasing, with relaxing and allowing, a state where worthiness is not earned, but simply accepted. You are an extension of non-physical source energy, and you have come here with great eagerness and purpose. You intended to explore Earth's perfect balance of contrast for the purpose of moving life beyond what it has been before. You are an eternal being, a part of which is now focused into the physical body that you believe is you. But your physical person and personality are only part of all that you really are. We like to explain that only a part of the consciousness that is really who you are is focused into the physical personality that you believe is you, so that you can then begin to consciously consider the larger part of you who continues to remain non-physically focused. Once you remember that you are a physical extension of source energy, you can then begin to consider and consciously tend to your alignment with your larger, eternal, non-physical counterpart. As you made a decision to focus into this physical time-space reality, you understood it to be a spectacular arena of balance and variety and perfect contrast. You felt eager about the promise of opportunities that Earth offered. You knew that your experience here would evoke continual preference preferences and decisions and expansion. You felt eager about what you knew would be a detailed exposure to experiences and people and ideas from which your own preferences of creation would be born. You understand that there is no competition for resources, but only opportunities to give birth to your own ideas. And you understood that once an idea has been given birth, the means with which to fulfill it will follow. And now, here you are, an extension of source energy, focused in the, en in the environment of perfect contrast and balance, just as you have intended, exploring, deciding, prefer preferring, creating, and becoming. In this moment, in time and space, you are precisely where you have intended to be. And the source within you is pleased for your life continually calls more expansion through you and all that is benefits from the important part that you play. When your life presents a situation where a clear new question forms within you, you are moving into new expansion. And even when the answer to your question seems non-existent, you are still well along the way to personal growth. 
when you stand in the middle of a problem or even what you may regard as a crisis you're also moving into new expansion and even thought the solution to your problem feels out of the reach to you that is never the case whenever any question or pro problem is coming into focus in your life an equal answer or solution is coming into focus as well from your non-physical perspective as you were making the decision to focus into your physical body you understood completely this amazing process of creation and expansion and you eagerly set forth your intention your intention to be here at this time and in this space you reveal in the idea of continual rendezvous with other creators and you understood that you would be a catalyst for one another for joyous expansion as your life continually poses new questions it also poses new answers which cause expansions as your as your life as your life presents new problems it also presents new solutions which cause expansion and all that is benefit from your willingness to live and consider and explore and expand because the source within you is so aware of this process understanding the certainty of the answers and solutions every part of your physical exploration is joyously appreciated through this process you will return to your non-physical understanding and then problems will cease to be problems and will be seen for what they really are life giving opportunities for eternal expansion as you relax and breathe deeply you can feel the appreciation that source feeds for you in this moment in time appreciation for your physical world for diversity and for the stream of never-ending desires that flow forth from you. The non-physical source from which you have come is always aware of you, always enjoying you, always loving you, and always feeling appreciation for the important role you are playing in the expansion of all that is. Your lack of awareness of the source within you in no way hinders the ability of source to be aware of you since your non-physical source energy is always aware of you always flowing to you and disruption in that communication is always caused by you because of whatever you are focused upon in that moment in time but day by day as you give your attention to the rhythm of the guiding guiding music to the cadence of your breathing to the feeling of these words any long held patterns of resistance will dissipate since resistance that has been introduced by your thought is the only thing that hinders the conscious blending between you and your inner being as the resistance gradually dissipates your conscious awareness of your relationship with source will come forward into your awareness when you feel love or appreciation or passion or joy those feelings are not only your indication that you are blended with the source within you but they are also indicators of how source is also feeling because of the perspective of love that source always choose to hold there is always a guiding vibrational signal for you to tune yourself to a simple withdrawal of your attention from resistant thoughts is the only path to your alignment with the pure positive energy that is at your core and so just relax and breathe deeply and allow your natural alignment before you birth into this physical body you understood the importance of the contrasting diversity on planet earth you jumped in eagerly to explore the variety and to enjoy the expansion that you knew would be called through you from your physical point of view you understand how appealing a variety of choices and opportunities can be as you are choosing your food your clothing your vehicles your homes your relationships you know that the more options that are available the more satisfying your experience is because more options allow more detailed 
creativity. From your non-physical point of view, you hold an even greater appreciation for variety and contrast, because not only does contrast make for more satisfying choices, but it is the basis of, basis of, of all new creation. It is far more than observing the var varied offering like in a buffet and simply selecting the components to create a satisfying plate. Instead, it is a satisfying understanding that the existing components will continue to produce a never-ending plethora of new components from which to choose. The dynamics of creation are intoxicating and life-giving. In your understanding of the creative process and of the important role that you would play in the expansions of all that is, you eagerly jumped into this time space. You were eager to explore the options that have been created by those who had come before you. You were eager to explore and to observe, to observe and to evaluate and to decide. But the eagerness you felt was not only about having an, an opportunity to observe the existing components that have been created before you, your arrival. Your eagerness was about the creativity that would flow out of you as you digested what was there and, dis and discovered your new personal requests for more. Requests for more. The leading edge of thought and of creation. That is where you want it to be. Your life is supposed to feel good to you, for you have deliberately chosen it as the platform from which more will follow flow. The appreciation that source feels for you, never endingly, will wrap you in a warm blanket, blanket of worthiness if you will allow it. As you were coming into your physical experience, you, understand, you understood that the basis of the universe, both physical and non-physical, is one of absolute well-being. You felt no concern about the existence of unwanted things since you understood the importance of contrast and variety and you knew that more wonderful creation would be born from that variety. You knew that your emph emphasis and focus, in, and focus would be upon the new creation that would be born from the variety and therefore the contrast that spawned the expansion was a good thing. Observing and sifting through the details of wanted and unwanted is what gives birth to constant new rockets of desire. And when you are quick to redirect your focus from your awareness of the inadequate or undesirable aspects of your observation toward the new ideas of creation that are born out of that very observation, you are on the same vibrational wavelength as the source within you, who always looks forward to be the newest of creation. In your redirection of your personal focus toward a new ID that has been launched, you will blend with the leading edge perspective of source and you will feel your at oneness with who you really are and with all that you have become. When no vibrational resistance is hindering the communication between you and your source, you will feel the visceral tactile feelings of your vibrational alignment with the source within you. And while physical words are inadequate to, the, to describe the physical sensation, every cell of your body will confirm your alignment with source inside the vortex. Your life is serving you well and is providing the basis of expansion, exactly as you knew it would when you decide to come. For you have launched countless rockets of desire into your vortex of creation and you frequent and try there will always feel good all day every day contrast in varying degrees is causing you to launch rockets of desire into your vortex of creation sometimes the contrast is such that you launch what feels like very big requests and sometimes the rockets feels as if they are simply amending previous intentions. And so, your expansion never ceases, because the rockets never cease, because the contrast never ceases. When a new desire is born from contrast, source always feels the pleasing experience of expansion, 
because source holds no resistance to the new expansion and therefore experiences the expansion immediately. The purpose of your recording is to assist you in the gentle and progressive releasing and practice resistance, which will allow you to frequently enter your vortex. Every time you allow your entry into your vortex, you will feel good because every time you enter, you will align with your own expansion. And so the contrast that surrounds you will always assure your expansion and the source within you will always focus upon the adaptive expansion and your releasing of unpleasing thoughts will allow your good feeling entry into your vortex where you are cooperative company to the, to the desire that you hold through your gentle and progressive re releasing of resistance and your frequent entry into your good feeling vortex not only will it become increasingly easy for you to remain there longer but it will be infinitely easier for you to return to your vortex with ease there is no better feeling physical sensation than than what is experienced when you allow your vibrational alignment with your source and with your own expansion from inside your vortex things satisfy and delight you you feel expansive and frisky and you are eager for more with every new discovery and each new place you stand the expansive feeling of more continues to call and refresh you when you are outside your vortex of creation focusing focusing upon unwanted things equal and ideas of wanted things are simultaneously coming into focus your awareness of what you do not want creates a vibrational version of what you do want but you do not have access to that one and worsen while outside your vortex in other words your attention to the details of your current buffet buffet of components is creating other components but you do not have access to to those choices at this time but when you are in your vortex, now all of those good feeling, newly created choices are there for you, your cho choosing. In other words, while inside your vortex, you are choosing from the very best that life has to offer. So while we always want you to feel the benefit of contrast, no matter where you stand within it, we want you to know that it is not necessary to experience discomfort in order to experience expansion you could consistently remind remain inside your good feeling vortex and enjoy infinitive choices with which to create your evolving reality even when you are choosing from the good feeling buffet from inside your vortex you are still creating new components new possibilities new ideas a new expansion not only are you creating new a component to mold into the details of your life experience but you are creating a continuing new perspective from which to enjoy them more discoveries more relationships more combinations more adventures more awareness more desires more appreciation it is always that which is new that refreshes it is in that which is new where source dwell, dwells offering a signal of love and joy that calls you never endingly forward to never ending expansion to more your world is gradually expanding steadily growing and refreshing while finding balance every step along the way well-being is the dominant basis of all that is of the universe and of the physical planet upon which you now stand your planet spins in its orbit it, in proximity to other planets in a perfect and stable dance because it is perpetually seeking and finding balance like all living beings your earth is continually changing and expanding otherwise it would be otherwise it would cease to be the stability of your earth exists because its change and expansion does not outstrip 
its ability to find balance. It is not only Earth's sides and the laws of physics that are of enough significance to absorb the shock of any change, but also Earth's vibrational nature of well-being. While your Earth appears to be geological sphere of rock and soil and water held together by gravitational forces, it is so much more than that, for within every particle of Earth's substance is vibrational consciousness seeking individual balance, consciousness aligning with the broader non-physical vision of Earth's future. In the same way that a large ship outfitted with modern stabilis stabilis sails largely unaffected in stormy seas, while earlier vessels less well equipped were buffered about. Your planet's evolution has guaranteed its stability. Its stability. Your planet is not moving back to less stability. Even though the human inhabitants of planet Earth are often outside of their vortexes, vortexes in a state of resisting their personal well-being, the overwhelming consciousness of your planet in soil, in water, in flora, in fauna, is in incrementally finding balance every step along the way. In time, as you relax and breathe your way into alignment with your source, you will be able to feel the dominant vibrational pulse of well-being that permits your Earth and everything it is comprised of. Well-being is the basis of all that is. Your magnificent world is eternally tied to the steady rhythm of well-being at its core. And the same is true of you. As you relax and refresh, releasing resistance as you breathe, you will discover the balancing rhythm of your source. You and your physical body are an extension of source energy, and your physical planet is an extension of source energy also. You have a non-physical counterpart that we refer to as your inner being, and your planet has an inner being as well. Every particle of your physical world has a non-physical source from which it has come, and every particle of your physical world also have a leading edge vibrational version, version that is calling it forward. This vibrational version of what you could call your physical future holds a steady rhythm of well-being for you in your vortex. In the same way, in the same way that a large and diverse variety of vibrational components that make up your Earth assures its stability, the trillions of cells that make up your physical body do the same for you. That is the reason for that extraordinary resilient resiliency. Resiliency, resiliency of your physical body. The, the unlimited consciousness of the particles that make up your immense planet never, under any conditions, worry themselves out of alignment with the energy of their source. The core vibration of well-being is so significant that departure from it does not occur. Over time, during the application of this process, your habits of worry, concern, frustration, overwhelming, and anger will cease to be, allowing your cellular core to find its natural vibrational balance. Day by day, as you relax and breathe, your natural well-being will dominate until your stable footing will become unshakable. Your consistent alignment with the energy of well-being will cause you to see your world through the eyes of souls and you will feel as you and you will feel as you felt when you decide to come to come into your physical body satisfied with what is and eager for more
Be easy about your life and feel our appreciation for who you are as you allow wonderful things to flow natural, naturally to you. As you relax into the low base premise of your words and the resistance you have found, found along your physical path will be released. Because of your daily tuning to the frequency of your source, everything in your life experience will be beneficially affected by that decision. Be easy about your life, letting all struggles and concerns go. No longer try to make things happen. Release your attempted control of circumstances and others. Stop beating up on yourself. Stop measuring your progress. And when you catch yourself beginning to do any of that, remind yourself that you are taking care of everything that needs to be tended to during the daily tuning sessions you are now participating in. Then relax and breathe and smile and allow. Before long, you will realize that it has always been your struggle and concern, an attempt at impossible control that has been holding, holding unwanted things to you with less resistance and more allowing unwanted things cannot remain. Before long, you will witness a steady stream of wanted things flowing into your experience with the same ease and flow of water flowing gently downhill. You will discover how simple and delightful the harvesting of desires you have already put into your vortex is when you are consistently residing inside your vortex. Your vortex will teach you as you are consistently inside it that your best effort is in letting go of resistance and simply allowing yourself inside. For inside your vortex, your thoughts flow with ease and clarity and precision. Your physical body feels stable, your stamina is high and your timing is perfect as you interact with others. You will be surprised. It's okay. You will be surprised at first at what little effort was actually required to tune yourself to the energy that creates worlds and that your true power is in non-struggle. As you listen to our words and remember who you are, you will rediscover your natural vibrational patterns of well-being. Each day you will find more clarity, more stamina and more eagerness. Each day you will remember who you are and why you have come. You have picked up your vibrational resistance to well-being gradually as you have been moving along your physical trail and your releasing of the resistance will be gradual as well. The better and better feeling path to the freedom of no resistance is a progressive one and each new day will be more productive than the day before. Therefore, a consistent listening to our recording is of tremendous value to you. If you will make a decision to let your singular conscious intention be to focus upon your breathing, several natural benefits will begin to emerge during the first month of this daily meditation process. During your first several segments of listening to the recording, it will be normal for your mind to drift away from your attention to your breathing and onto some vibrationally active aspects of your life. Even the words that we are speaking on the recording may stimulate a resistance from within you, but after a few days of relaxing and breathing, you will begin to feel the ease of a quieter mind. And the process of simply breathing will begin to feel inviting and beneficial to you. Because of your willingness to focus upon your breathing and in doing so, to deactivate what have been resistant thoughts, the words on the recording will move into the foreground and you will begin to feel a striking awareness of the power of these words. Not because the words are becoming clearer, but because your reception of them is becoming clearer. Each day you will find more clarity, more ease, more eagerness, more awareness, more vitality, more stamina, more fun, more interest, more good timing, and more harmonious rendezvous with ideas, circumstances, 
events, and others. Each year you will come into greater vibrational alignment with your natural state of well-being. That which is your source is fully aware of you right now and feels unspeakable appreciation for who you are. Your life is supposed to feel good to you and you are meant to feel happiness in your life and you are meant to satisfy your dreams. The source within you is always fully aware of you, even though you may not be fully aware of source. And in the same way that the words on our recording are not changing and becoming clearer, but instead is your reception that is changing and allowing the clarity. You will begin to allow your own clearer recognition of your relationship with your source. Unless you are in the state of alignment with the law that source flows to you, it is as if it is not really there, when, in fact, it always is there. It is not enough to be loved by another. You must be a vibrational match to that law in order to know the experience of being loved. Lord, to be <coughs> to be in your natural state of love and appreciation does not require lovable objects for you to focus your attention toward, but only an absence of resistance, which is the only thing that can hinder or mute your natural state of love and appreciation and well-being. In the absence of resistant thought. Your vibration returns to its natural state of power, and clarity, and love. In the absence of resistant thought, your true nature of resilience, resilience and replenishment and vitality returns. In the absence of resistant thought, your true nature of eagerness and joy and fun returns. It is not through struggle and effort and trying that resistance is released but instead through distraction and releasing and relaxing. A recording holds within it a perfect vibrational formula for the releasing of the only hindrance to everything you desire. You, if you will allow it, it will gently and gradually guide you to the, to the allowance of all that you are asking for. Your life is supposed to feel good to you and you are meant to satisfy your dreams. There is nothing more satisfying than the, than the deliberate alignment with what you have dreamed. Mm. You're doing extremely well. The well-being that you seek is flowing to you. Relax and enjoy the unfolding and feel appreciation for what is an eagerness for what is coming. There is great love here for you. And as always, we remain in the vortex. You will experience incremental feelings of relief as you gradually allow your resistance to be released. Just as you find relief in drinking when you are thirsty or eating when you are hungry. The eternal nature of your being and the magnificent platform of expansion upon which you stand will hold you in a steady quest of thirst for that expansion with unending satisfaction stretching out before you the perfect contrast of your time and space reality will continue to stimulate your thirst while also holding the promise to fulfill every desire that has been inspired whether you focus upon contrast in this moment and so are in the process of asking for more or whether you are focused on your breathing in this moment and are allowing what you have asked for, it is all part of the process and it is all on your path. As your question comes into greater clarity, your answer comes into greater clarity as well. As your problem comes into greater focus, your solution comes into greater focus as well. 
or recording will make it easier for you to find resonance with the solution. Okay. Uh, you repeated listening to the recording while you repeated listening to the recording will allow any problems to move into the background <clears throat> and a solution to move into the foreground. <clears throat> Over time, your, your appreciation for a question will become equal equivalent to your appreciation for the answer. And your appreciation for the problem will become equal to your appreciation for the solution. And in your newfound ease with what is, you will find yourself in a state of allowing what you truly desire. And then all manner of cooperative components will reveal themselves to you in a delicious co-created dance of deliberate creation. <clears throat> so good. Ooh, a lot of energy. <laughs> a lot of things coming through. Oh, that is so good. Oh, I just have to stretch out a little bit. Just, oh. Oh, this is just like waking up. Oh, that was a lot. That's good. That's good. That's good. Easy and gentle. Gentle. Oh. Hmm. Expansion. Wow, so wonderful. <coughs> so, so wonderful. Wow. So, what time do we have here? Already 40 to almost 50 minutes. Time is, it's a timeless experience this, <laughs> to be in this, in this uh, reading and listening and feeling the words from the Abraham. It's so nice to tune into the vibration of who we truly are, isn't it? Because we then can clearly hear those words what, that's been spoken. When there's something, truth of the alignment of who you are comes through, you can feel the energy arises and becomes more inside. It's more aliveness and more energy and more, you know, the perceive how the we how you perceive the world. And I say how the uh, we perceive the world when we are tuned in, tapped in, and turned on into who we really are. It's quite different when we're not in the vortex, not in alignment. So it's no good to know the differences. It's good to know the varieties. It's good to have the contrast. It's good to have all of those things that are we are experiencing in this life now and forward. It's good to have the clarity. It's good to have the clarification in a vibration or where we at. And it's good where we at at any moment and any time because there's always improvements in our feelings. We can always feel a little bit better and a little bit better. And there's always a path of least resistance and the path of most allowance. There's always some guidance system from within that can guide us to feeling better and better and better. Just like a natural thing in the vehicle, you know, we're having a navigational system and it's just tell you when you're going in a wrong direction, if you have putting your desire to go in the direction of that, what you desire for, and then you moving into that direction but along the way you are a little bit pinched off then it's just telling you the vehicle the navigational system in the car is just say turn around or go more to the right or more to the left or whatever but you can say turn around moving in that direction and then you shift and change and you're moving in that direction and to your desire and then it's like yeah it is feels this feels right this feels good that's it is the guiding system from an end we all have it when there's something we desire for. It feels good. But knowing that we, there is no destination, there is an ongoing process of desiring to become new and refreshed now and more and more and more. There is never going to be an end of this. There is always going to be a foreverness in this. Beingness, like foreverness becomingness moreness because i cannot think not to be i am forever being here and now in this energy 
Yes. Universe never ends. It's just forever and ever more. I cannot imagine where it is stopping. Where it the universe ends. I have no answer. And it's an expansion to more. There is endless of worlds and universe and things and more things and expansion and more to come in all of this. And we are all in this together. It is good to know who we really are. It's good to know that we are pure low source energy in this physical body. Know that first, feel that first, align with that first, and then we can be playful, we can have fun, we can have more joyful experience and as we are meant to have, as we are meant to live happily ever after as we came into this physical body. It doesn't matter situation, it doesn't matter what, where we are or you know, we can always feel good no matter what. Feel good now, pure low source energy from within is not depending on something outside. It's the same with the physical, it's the same with the body. It is not depending on the body have to be well for you to feel well from the non-physical. When you are tuned in, tapped and turned on, you can't be the opposite of it. You can't be sick in the non-physical. You can't be, you know, it's not the same frequency match. You can't be having a bad experience when you are tuned in, tapped and turned on into the into who you really are. That freedom is in all of us. It doesn't matter what things you have or don't have, what you do or don't do. Alignment is available and independent. It's free for us to choose and focus in the energy of our alignment, to be more deliberate in there, feeling good. Feel the freedom in ourselves and feel the freedom in everyone else as well, that they have the freedom. Feel the unconditional love in myself and appreciation in myself. And easy and gentle, I feel the unconditional love in everyone else, family, friends, all things that surrounds me, everything that I focus on. You see, line up and then there is great love here for you, here, right here, right now, in this moment. That is always new and refresh and becoming more and more as you are allowed to be. See you tomorrow and enjoy.